Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, This Raz, and in this video, we are going to discuss regression analysis in segregating mixed costs. If you're ready, let's start! previous two videos, we have discussed already the concept of cost. Costs could be classified whether fixed, variable, or mixed. In an actual uh, production, we need to identify which cost is fixed and which is variable. Fixed costs will remain the same whether the production increases or decreases, while variable costs will vary depending on the production levels. When the production level increases, variable cost also increases. When the production level decreases, the variable cost also decreases. Production managers are very much interested in knowing which is variable and which is fixed, and they need to know how much or how many they should produce to recover fixed costs. However, adding complications to the problem are the existence of the mixed costs. Mixed costs have the characteristic of both variable and fixed costs, and we need to segregate them in order for the production managers to accurately estimate the fixed costs. There are three techniques used when segregating uh, mixed costs, and these techniques are the scatter graph or the graphical method, the high-low method, and the regression analysis. The scatter graph or graphical method and the high-low methods were already discussed in our previous video and I will link the video here. In this video, we will focus our discussion on the regression analysis. Okay, so regression analysis. This is also called the least squares method. In this method, fixed costs and variable costs are determined mathematically through a series of computation. In our previous two methods, the scatter graph method and the high-low method, we only use two points. In the scatter graph, we used to draw a line between the points and we identify the value of y intercept when the x is zero. Meanwhile, in high-low method, we use two points when computing slope. And for both methods, we only use two points when estimating costs. Now, there are other costs also which are ignored in the two methods. And in this method, in the regression analysis method, we are going to use them all. We will not ignore any values of x and y. So hence, there will be a series of computations in this analysis. Among the three methods used in cost accounting in segregating mixed costs, regression analysis is by far the most accurate method in segregating total costs into fixed and variable components. And like other methods of cost segregation, the least square method follows the same function. And that function is actually a linear equation. That is that y is equal to a plus bx. In our previous lecture, it is y is equal to mx plus b, wherein the m is the slope, the x is the level of production, and the b is the y-intercept or the fixed costs. In this analysis, we are going to somehow change the description or the letter the y is total cost, the a is our y-intercept, and the b is our slope, okay? That is actually the same with the other equation we have, okay? Just different letters. The y-intercept equation is further extended in this analysis into summation of y is equal to na plus the b times the summation of x. And another equation is the summation of x, y is equal to the summation of x times a plus b times the summation of x squared. Okay, so it's quite of like a differential calculus, you know. Using the equations above, using this, a formula for b or the slope can be derived. Again, again, in our previous lecture, it was y is equal to mx plus b. The b is the fixed cost, the m is the slope. But in this case, we just relabel the letters. It's y is equal to a plus bx. The a is the fixed cost and the b is the slope, okay? So the variable cost per unit or the slope is computed using the following formula. 
B is equal to the N times the summation of XY minus the summation of X times the summation of Y all over the N times the summation of X squared minus the squared of the summation of X. Okay? So that's how we compute the slope. Again, we will, we will use all the points. In the other previous two methods, we just used two points. But in this case, we will use all the points. Okay? So let's have this illustration that we have in our previous video. ABC Manufacturing Company has the following data for its electric consumption in the production area for the half of the year 2020. So we have here January to June and so on. Remember, we used the same um, example in our other video. In our previous two videos, we focused only on two points. But in this case, in this method, we are going to use all of them. Okay, so the X here, again, is the production level. This is our independent variable. And the Y, the dependent variable, is the amount of electric consumption in US dollars. Okay, so our first step is to prepare a table. This table, we have the N. So this N is our level, how many levels? So there are six, January, February, March, April, May, and June. So there are six N. And the units of production, we have the X is 1,000 and so on. And the costs or the Y is equal to 4,890 and so on. So for the X, Y here, we just multiply 1,000 times 4,890. Okay? So 1,000 over 90, that's 4,890. That's 4,890. And so on. You just multiply the X and the Y. For the X squared, we just squared the X. So 1,000 squared, that's 1 million. So 1,100 squared, that is 1,210,000 and so on. And here we will get, we have here the summation. So the summation is the sum of all given uh, data. We have 1,000 plus, plus 1,100 plus 900 plus 850 plus 1,050 plus 750 and so on. That's 5,650 and all the summation okay so now that we have already the um table for the n the x the y the x y and the x squared we can now use the formula in computing the slope okay so the second step would involve the computation of the slope or the b which is our variable cost so the formula is b is equal to the n times the summation of x y minus the summation of x times summation of the y over n times summation of x squared minus summation of x squared okay so we will just substitute all the figures we have in our table so we have n there are six okay n and then this 27 million five three one five hundred this is the summation of xy and the summation of x was 5650 and the summation of y was 29170 over again n and then the summation of x squared from our table that's 5407500 and also minus the summation of x squared so 5650 squared therefore simplifying this um data we will get 165 million and 189,000 minus 164 million 810 and 500 and so on so therefore our b is th equal to 378 500 over 522,500 so the b the slope is 0 0.72 and 44 so comparing the b here to other methods the other b's we have computed using the two um um methods this is actually the lowest um figure in our scatter graph method we got 0 0.80 and in our, in our high low method we got 86 88 something 
0.88 something. So this is by far the lowest uh, slope or variable cost per unit. And we are going to use this, of course, in estimating our cost. So the third step is to solve for the fixed cost, the A from the Y is equal to A plus BX, okay? So the formula in computing for the A or the fixed cost is A is equal to summation of Y minus the B, which, which we have just computed, times summation of X over the N. Again, we will get figures from the table. So we have 29,170 minus 0 0.244 times 5650 over 6 okay so simplifying this we will get um 25077.13 divided by 6 and our a our fixed cost is 4179.52 okay so actually quite higher compared to the other th two methods but among the three methods this is more the most accurate no. so we already have now the fixed cost and of course the volume the variable cost per unit of production so we can now try to estimate or project an electricity consumption for 80 months okay so let's try this let's estimate suppose the month of july estimated a total production level of 1500 units how much would be the estimated cost of electricity we are going to use the y is equal to mx plus b okay so that's the basic linear equation okay or you can also use the y is equal to a plus bx that's actually the same okay so our slope or the variable cost per unit is 0 0.244 times 1500 the production level the x plus the fixed cost or the b 4000 179.52 so again if you are using this um formula or equation this is our y-intercept or fixed cost and m here is our variable cost per unit or the slope simplifying these terms so we will get 1086.60 plus 4179.52 so therefore our total estimated cost for the month of july would be 5266.12 so basically that's how you do the regression analysis first prepare the table identify the n solve for the x solve for the y solve for the x y and solve for the x squared and sum it all sum everything okay and just substitute don't use the formula that's basically it I hope you learned a lot from this video and thank you so much for watching. If you love the discussion, give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I will upload new videos. Thank you and bye!